Hello YouTube, this is GBay99 and today I'm going to bring you another Q&A video. Um, this one's obviously going to be a bit like a vlog. Now the reason I don't do vlogs isn't because I'm ashamed of my face or anything, but it's because I don't really have the best audio setup or uh, camera to shoot them with. So apologies if the audio is really bad or if the camera, or, you know, the video quality is really grainy or or just bad. <laughs> um, feel free to tell me in the comments if it's uh, you know too much to bear and I just won't do any more vlogs until I get a proper camera to shoot them with or uh, or I fix you know whatever problem it is if it's a problem that's fixable. Uh, so you can go ahead and tell me if you like them in the comments but uh, <laughs> just one point to clear up from last video before we jump into this one uh, for my last q and I'm not 13 years old. Uh, a lot of you thought I was 13 years old because I uh, what was it? Because I said I, <laughs> I grew up playing Bioshock. Uh, that, that's obviously not true. I did not grow up playing Bioshock. I'm 19 years old. Um, what, what I meant when I said that was uh, Bioshock is just one of those games that I, you know, really remember, you know, can't wait to get home to play it. Always took it over to all my friends' house, made them all play it. Uh, uh, you know, one of, the, one of those games that really sticks out in your mind as uh, a really good game that you love. Uh, if you're curious as to what games I actually grew up playing, it'd probably be uh, it would probably be Pajama Sam, Sly Cooper, uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, Spyro, and you know all those all those games. But anyway, let's move on into this Q and A. Uh, the first question is, what is the hardest position to play effectively? That's a good question. And it kind of depends on what you mean by the hardest position to play effectively. If you mean by carrying, like the hardest position to carry with in solo queue, then I'm going to have to say top lane. Now, don't yell at me yet if you're like a support in Bronze 5. I am a little bit biased here. But in the end, I think it's really hard to carry with top lane just because you're so isolated and you can't really have that much of an effect on the game. Um, when you're top lane you can't do really anything to help your teammates you can only take the tower to get some global gold or maybe go down do dragon if you have teleport to teleport back up top and uh, try and stop the enemy top laner from taking the tower but in the end uh you know every other lane can have a much bigger effect on the game in terms of just how they affect it uh for example mid lane can roam and help virtually anyone on the map fairly easily, especially if you're a Katarina or an Ari or something. Um, jungler obviously can go anywhere on the map. He can help anyone who's having trouble. And even bottom lane, even both AD and support. AD you can obviously carry with if you, you know, you farm right or if you get some early kills and, you know, snowball into late game. But even if you're playing support, you're having an effect on four people in the game. Yourself, your AD, the opponent's AD, and the opponent's support. And that's a really big deal. You're, you're affecting four people in the game, and then you're affecting even more when you're talking about warding late game, when you're talking about all the utility you bring, especially if you're Janna or Lulu or something. And uh, and and just in turn, you know, you know, there's so much more you can do as support. You know, you can help your team take dragon. You can pink ward dragon, clear the ward, uh, tell your team to go do dragon after you kill the enemy. You know, AD or support or jungler or something, or if you see the jungler top lane. Whereas when you're top lane, you don't really have anything like that. You know, you don't have a big objective next to you. You have Baron, but you obviously can't do Baron. Um, and you know, the the most you can do top lane is really try and get everyone to try and kill you. You can only really try to beat the beat beat the enemy top lane or senseless, so the jungler will have to come up and help. But even then, you really uh, you really can't do that much in terms of uh, helping the helping your entire team and making a big effect on trying to win the game. Now, if you're talking about the hardest position to play effectively, as in just the hardest position to master, then I'm going to have to pro probably say, yeah, jungler is probably the hardest position to master or the hardest position when you're talking about playing on an even field. Um, just when you jungle, there's so much you have to keep in mind, you know, you have to keep in mind all the timers, you have to manipulate the map, you have to be everywhere at once, you know, it seems often. And it's, uh, you know, in the end, it's just a really, really complex role. And because of, of how complex it is, it's probably going to be the hardest role to master or the hardest role to play um, at a top level effectively. 
Our second question is, if League was a game to buy, there would be less noobs. What do you think? First off, it depends on what you mean by noobs. If you're just talking about bad players, that's completely relative. You know, there's always going to be bad players no matter what game you play. Um, and you know, that, that's, that's just completely relative, and that's not true if that's what you meant. If you're talking about, like, toxic players and stuff... I suppose it would deter some toxic players because in the end, if you're, like if Riot said you have to play $60 to play League, then, then like someone who was just, you know, who just wanted to play for fun or to mess around or to, you know, who wouldn't necessarily take it as seriously as other people, they would definitely be deterred and it would definitely be harder for them to play the game without making a big commitment, uh, monetarily at least. But in the end, I don't think it would deter enough um, to really make the community better. There would always, there'd still be, you know, bad players. There'd still be people yelling at each other for playing badly. There'd still be plenty of stuff that ruined the community. <laughs> but even if you were to deter enough toxic players, you would probably also be deterring so many players who would, who, who are, you know, perfectly okay. You would be deterring a lot of casual players who just play this game very casually, who just play this game for fun, and who also make up a big chunk of the esports demographic. In the end, I don't think it would be worth it, I guess. Um, it, it just wouldn't be worth it, even if it were to deter a bunch of toxic players, because League would not be the big esport it is today. League would not be as successful as it is today, and we wouldn't have as, as many amazing, awesome things as we do today. Our third question is, my friend on EU West says it's harder to play on EU than NA. Is this true? Yes, because the EU West servers are never even up. If you could change one thing about League, what would it be? Uh, the classic answer for this is probably going to be, I would make the community better. But in the end, I don't think that's really attainable <laughs> and I don't think that would be the number one thing I would be worried about but I definitely would like the community to be more uh, together be more friendly towards each other and not in the sense of oh he's a bad player I'll forgive him you know I I'm not really so much worried about that that's gonna be in any game and that's just kinda of part of online gaming it's a bad part of it but I don't think that's the biggest problem with the league community I think the biggest problem with the league community is that we, <laughs> we it's almost like class warfare gold players don't like playing with silver players cuz silver players are so bad and silver players don't like playing with gold players cuz gold players judge them for being silver and <laughs> bronze players think platinum players are elitists or who who aren't even that good at the game or and diamond players think platinum players are just wannabe pros and you know there's just a bunch of hate and animosity towards each other from stuff other than just playing badly and that is what I would really like to fix I don't think there's anything like I don't have any idea like right should do this this and this and then that will just completely fix everything but that's really, in my mind, the biggest problem with the League community, even more so than people just being hateful or toxic towards each other from bad play or from, you know, trolling or, you know, whatever. Well, thank you all very much for watching this Q&A video. Um, a lot of you ask questions like, uh, what got me into League, what got me into video making, and a bunch of stuff about YouTube, League, and video making. And I'm going to answer all those in a 100k video. We're almost at 100k subscribers. Thank you all very much for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do sort of like a day nine. You know how day nine's 100th daily. He did the my life with Starcraft thing. I'm going to do my life with League of Legends and talk to you guys about what got me into League, what got me into video making in my past and my what I hope for my future, I guess. But anyway, until then, thank you all very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.